Um, let's move on before we get. Yeah. Sidetracked I mean, we're, we're doing fine on time. Actually, yeah, time wise, we're all right. We only got a couple of positions left, but yeah. these positions might be a while. <laughs> There's a lot of, yeah. a lot of talent here. Um, center attacking mid. I'll go with my honorable mentions first. Mm-hmm. Trophies Lopez in uh, San Jose. I think he's still here. They brought him back, right? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. If not, he's, I mean, he's not in my list. He's just an honorable mention. So Reynoso did not make my top five. Bruce Knack did not make my top five because I'm not sure where he fits in with Seattle yet. And Pereira just missed out from Orlando. So my top five, Pozuelo, if he comes back fully healthy. If he doesn't come back fully healthy, it's a flip-flop with him and Pereira. I just want to put this asterisk out there. Do some post-editing or whatever. Mihailovic at four, Zellerion at three, Carlos Hill at two, and Hani Mukhtar at one. Anybody who says Hani Mukhtar didn't deserve MLS MVP is no longer allowed to speak about MLS. Uh, yeah, for the most part, my list is pretty much the same. This I'm, was the I'm same curious. thing last year. Our plans were pretty dead on. It's pretty, like, for the most part, it's pretty set, like, who the top center attacking mids are but uh, there, there's definitely some give and take there uh i'm gonna run through my list and then i have a question for you so oh, uh, at five i put i put Rusnak at five i put pozuelo at four zellerion at three Hila at two and then Mukhtar at one. Oh, you did now, jordy so dirty well here's my here's my uh, here's my question for you calm calm down i will find um, you I want you to make the case for me to swap out Rusnak for Jordy. Okay. Rusnak. A lot of my a lot of my reasoning for putting Rusnak there at five was based off the season that he currently came off of, where he was super, super strong. Okay. In a Montreal team that was really not great, four goals, 14 assists. Albert Rusnak in a RSL side that was not really not great. great. <laughs> Eleven and seven. Okay, but here's the here's the other point. Where does he fit in in Seattle? Because you've got Nicoladero already. You've got Ja Paolo. You've got Morris on the wing. You've got Rui Diaz up top. Are you going to play him as a left wing? You think he's going to be that successful over there? I don't know. It's I, Seattle, though. If any team's going to figure out how to utilize him well, it's Seattle. He played they, nine. They, he played, to be fair, to be fair, nine games for, or I'll call it 15, 16 games for RSL at the left wing spot, had five goals, three assists. So he would be, he'd be successful there. But would he be an attacking mid at that point, or would, be, would he be a winger? Well, like you said, I, I don't really have an option right now. I can't. I don't know where he's going to end up playing for Seattle. So at the moment, I right. kind of have to go with where he currently is. Nope, for sure. No, I just I think if you're going to drop anybody for Rusna or if, for Mihailovic, it's Pozuelo because you don't know if he's coming back 100. percent That's I I get that. That's fair. But Pozuelo, when he was at his best, is in that mix with the top three. I hear you. I and, hear you and now even more so, he's going to have a lot more eyes shifted away from him because everybody's going to be looking at Insigne. So. Or is somebody going to say, okay, stop. Don't worry about Insigne. Don't let Insigne get the ball by stopping Pazuela first. I guess it depends on how they pit, play Pazuela. Are they going to play him more like a striker or more like a midfielder? Right. And if Giovinco, there's a whole bunch of things that we don't know about, right? Yeah, it's, it, there's a lot of ifs. Yeah, I, and, I get I, I I can definitely understand in that case why you would put Jordy because that's a bit more set in stone. Like, you know, Jordy is the playmaker for that team in the midfield. You know where he's going to play. So I, I can understand that. I, I'm going to stick with my 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 top five, but I'm going to stick with mine. Um, I think in terms of honorable mentions, let's just see if I. The only other person I added on there was Ryan Gall. Oh, I like Ryan Gall. That's a good one. 
All right, so I like I like gold. I like the gold pick. Uh, I think Vancouver is going to be slept on this year because Ryan Gold is not in that list. But uh, I'm a fan of that one. I like that. Yeah. Moving. So.